Hello, 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 hello. How are you, gang? I'm just checking that we're all live. I think we are live. I am in my kitchen for our snack a travaganza. Snack a ganza. Snack a ganza. I don't know if that works, but we're here to talk about snacks, which is one of my favourite things. Um, so if you can hear me and see me and you're here live, give me a wee hashtag live in the comments below. And if you're catching up on replay, give me a wee hashtag replay in the comments below. So this is going to be the final masterclass before Christmas. I'm not going to do one next week because schools finish up on Wednesday. And we officially are going to kind of start our Christmas holidays. So I thought we'd make it a little bit fun tonight because everybody loves a good snack. Um, so I've got my, this is my Christmas card writing list, which I'm doing that tonight. Um, yeah, so snacks, 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 snacks. Who, hands up, give me a hell yeah if you love a snack in the comments. It's, um, I genuinely love snacks and one of, one of a, I suppose a founding principle of, of what I always wanted to do was have a place where snacks were acceptable and allowed and welcomed. Um, rather than, you know, I'd, I'd worked with, um, a, a nutrition coach before who was like, nope, just eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. You don't need snacks and all of that. But I really like snacks. Like, I actually just love that wee, mmm, that wee pickiness. So anyway, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about how over the festive period, there's going to have, you're going to have a shitload of stuff in your house. Okay. It's always the same at Christmas. We have a shitload of things that we know are not going to be conducive to our goals, but how do we manage that and how do we still partake in fun? And there's Michelle, knew you'd like a snack. Um, how do we still partake in the, in the snackage, but without either, you know, setting ourselves up for failure before the, the 2022 even began? Um, and also it will help stand you in good stead moving forward. So there's some good snacks. <laughs> there's some good snacks here. Um, and some hacks. It's more about hacks. This is not necessarily about, you know, just eat a rice cake instead because quite frankly, if somebody comes and says she's on the 27th of January, do you want a rice cake? You're probably going to punch them in the face. Um, so it's not about that. Uh, I have noticed, um, I don't know. Hold on. Can I show you this? We've got an array of stuff here, but you'll see the fairy has arrived from the tree. She's obviously been up to mischief with the elf on the shelf. They have been up to mischief. So we're going to talk first of all about what we're going to talk about first. Let's talk about alcohol first. Okay, so alcohol can be a very slippery slope for some people. Now, I love a glass of wine, I love a g and I love a bottle of beer. Minus, there's probably not a lot of alcohol that I don't really like. I don't really like creamy alcohol drinks and I don't particularly like tequila. But other than that, pretty much open to anything. But <coughs> these bad boys here are going to be a saving grace. Especially if you're somebody that likes to track their calories and are eaten within a certain allowance, like cans of gin and slime lint tonic are amazing. Or the reason why they're amazing is A, if you're in the house free pouring, you're pretty much probably going to be drinking two or three measures per drink because home free pours are never pub measures. Never, ever, ever, ever. And you can pretend all you want, but it's not true. It never is. So these are going to help keep you in check. So these ones are actually not the lowest of calories. These are about a hundred per can and you can get them lower than that. You can get them down to about 80. Um, but I like the taste of them ones and that's what I had in the fridge. So that's what you've got. So those are really good for keeping a handle on the volume of alcohol that you're drinking because it's not just, it's just, it's not just the calories. Um, over the festive period, you're going to be drinking more. That means your tolerance to alcohol increases as well, which basically means, let's say, you know, you get that nice buzz after a glass of two of wine. You're not going to get that buzz until after a bottle and then a bottle and a half. You know, so your, your tolerance for alcohol increases. So you need more and more and more to get that kind of feeling. Um, so an alcohol, as we know, from her, her hormonal point of view, it can be really damaging. Um, from a 
calorie burn point of view can be quite damaging because what our body does is instead of burning fat, it will detox the alcohol first before it even like, thinks about, you know, oh, let's burn some fat here. So the body focuses on the toxins and the alcohol and trying to get rid of them before it will even try and burn fat. The other saving grace, this is one of my <coughs> best hacks in the world, right? So this little bad boy here, this is 187 ml of wine and you can get many bottles up to about 250 ml of wine. Now, two of these is more than enough for me now. Now, I can happily drink a full bottle of wine. Yeah, it'd be a bit merry, but I can easily drink a full bottle. But drinking two of these pretty much halves your calories. So what this bottle is 140, so two of them is what, 280. A full bottle of that same wine is 700 calories. So having a couple of these, and then if you're still up for a party, having a couple of these, from a calorie point of view, is going to do you so much more good than a full bottle of wine. Um, also, one thing that I would also say about the, the gin and slim, we, you can easily have gin with soda and muddled up lime or something or, or other fresh berries and that also includes, increases your hydration level as well, top tip. Right, so alcohol, <coughs> there's, from a beer point of view, if you're a lager drinker, um, I quite like a Bud Light. And one of my friends really likes, there's something called a skinny lager, and I've not seen it an awful lot. I know that it does, they do it in the shop near me, but if you're not in Troon, really, that's no use to you at all. Um, but keep an eye out for that skinny lager. It's less than 100 calories a bottle. Quite nice. So, alcohol always brings out the snack monster, doesn't it? So we get that, oh, I want a saltiness, or I want a crispiness, or whatever. So I've got some various options round about snacks here. Right, so... How many times have you sat down with a drink and then munched your way through a family bag of kettle chips? Genuinely, if you have done that, put it in the comments. One full family bag of kettle chips or AN other crisp. Right, so I worked out today that a family bag of salted kettle chips contains 769 calories, which is kind of similar to... Another bottle of wine, not that bottle of wine, but some, there is a bottle of wine, I can't remember what it was. 19 pounds maybe, it's close to 700. Right, so 769 calories, plus a bottle of wine at 700 calories, that's 100, uh, 1400 calories, just in those two things alone, right? So if you're in your 40s and you're 5 foot 4, I don't know, and you don't really do an awful lot of exercise, there is a very real possibility that 1400 calories is your, is the calories that you should be eating to lose body fat, but you're getting them in one sitting, not even a meals. Karen Hedge, what don't you like? Do you not like wine? We can't be friends. Mm -mm, we can't be friends anymore. I hope it's the crisps. Um, so I'm not here to suggest that you cut out crisps because that would be a terrible imposition on anybody's life because I love a crisp. Um, I'm particularly partial to a cheese and onion golden wonder and a kettle chip and... There's not really many crisps, but I don't particularly love Watsons. That's my bet. Um, <coughs> so, instead of buying family bags of crisps, I want you to buy individually packed crisps, okay? So, the reason for that is there's a bit of a psychological aspect to this, right? So, one packet of crisps I worked out contains 153-ish calories. Good girl, Karen. 153 calories per one bag of kettle chips, okay? So that's actually not too bad, but obviously one packet of crisps is never really enough, especially if you're on oh, this. So <coughs> you have two packets of those kettle chips, that's 300, just over 300 calories. So that's all right, you know, from a snack, that's significantly better than 769 for a start. But you also have this psychological part of, oh my God, I've had a packet of crisps and I'm just having a second pack. Oh my God, how decadent. So it has that kind of like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm being a little bit saucy here by having my two packets of crisps and my two mini wines and my gin. So you're getting that kind of like, yeah, this isn't this isn't restrictive. I'm not restricting myself here, but you're also not diving headfirst into a fabulous bag at 769 calories. So give that a wee try. Yes, it's a. <coughs> 
some of you may say, yeah, it's more expensive to buy these. It's not really that much more in terms of pounds and pence. Um, so give that a try. Definitely has helped me. Um, so yeah, that's it. 307 calories for two packets versus 769 for one big family pack. And you don't even, like you kind of get to the point where you've lost the sensation of taste. It's just a, an automatic um, 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 um. I think some of you will know what I mean. Okay, so there you go. Karen, you agree it's the kettle chips, it's the munch in them. It's not the actual taste. They, they taste delicious, I personally think. Although they, I think they've changed them because for I remember living in my old house <coughs> and had some kettle chips, probably a full family bag to be fair. And I uh, remember thinking that they, they tasted like the smell of burnt hair. I don't think that anymore. So that's your crisps. Try them. Um, another wee option to look at, if you like a wee snuggle up on the sofa with your hubby or your kids or whatever. Um, instead of going through the crisps, have a look at popcorn. Now popcorn is obviously taken... Aha! Vicky! Yeah, great minds. So popcorn has taken a little bit of a research over the last few years because it is fairly low in calories um, versus a deep fried bit of potato. Um, so these are quite new, the microwavable proper corn ones. I am a fan of the proper corn popcorn. Now it says, you've got to be careful of packaging because it says 84 calories per serving, right? However, a serving is 20 grams. A full bag is actually 70 grams. So in actual fact, for a full bag of this, you're looking at 250-ish calories, okay? So in the hand, whole grand scheme of things, a big bag of this, at 260, 50-odd calories, is still significantly lower than two packets of kettle chips. So you're still getting the saltiness, you're still getting the, the, the whole, this is quite decadent, because there's something really decadent in my, microwavable popcorn, I just, I love it, personally. <coughs> it's like, oh, a big bowl. So that, again, is helping from a calorie point of view, and probably more nutritional, nutritionally sound, let me just check. There's a lot more protein in the popcorn as well. 8.5 grams per 100 grams of protein in the popcorn versus 5.8 grams of protein per 100 grams in the crisps. So actually really good. Fibre is much better as well. And much lower in fat. So I put much less calorific. So there you go. Have a wee try out of that. Um, and a full bag of popcorn, you do feel like a glutton eating that, but a good glutton nonetheless. Right, what else? <coughs> Sticking with the savoury theme, one of my huge, huge, huge loves about Christmas, and Christmas Eve is my favourite day of the year because we get the biggest cheese board that you've ever seen. And I do have a couple of rules for you around Christmas. Now, if you have a special routine or, um, what do you call that? What is that word? Whatever. Um, if, if you have a special something about Christmas that means you must go and eat an entire Christmas pudding or an entire cheese board or whatever it is, you must do that. Okay. At the end of the day, Christmas, if realistically, we're only looking at Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, like three days of gluttony. <coughs> yeah, it might skew the scales for a, a week, but in the big scheme of things, not really. Um, it's the week in between Christmas and New Year that people just go, oh, fuck it. Oh, you know, it's New Year. And that's like another... That's 10 days, really, of tradition, thank... Oh, my God, Sarah. What's going on with me? Anyway, I blame my hormones. Definitely perimenopausal. Definitely been having some hot flashes of late. Very fun. Not fun. <coughs> so, cheese. Hugely important, right? So, every Christmas Eve, we have this massive cheese board, which is fine. And then we have some cheese left over, but we have been quite brutal, and I start binning things now. But if you're not, if you don't have that tradition, but you still enjoy a bit of cheese, these little bad boys, they actually didn't have the packet that I wanted in the supermarket. I wanted the one that had the miniature of breeze and camembert and stuff. However, these little multi-packs that you get of all the different types of cheese, these ones contain 20 grams of cheese each, right? So that's hardly anything. Now, I did write this down where I've got it. So, these little ones have got 64 calories each. Okay? That's not an awful lot. So, 128 calories for these two bits. Now, when you slice, you can see how thick it is. When you slice that, 
you get quite a lot of volume of cheese. However, everybody wants a cracker and these bad boys are a family favourite. Multigrain crackers from Tesco's. Now you get lots of different flavours, you get garlic, you get sea salt, you get rosemary, you get the uh, other ones. Um, and these only have 24 calories per cracker. So I worked out that if you have four of these with no butter and you slice your cheese, even slicing these into two is going to give you quite a big taste. That is 130 calories. And that's actually quite a good wee snack and spread. 140 calories for four crackers and cheese. Now, obviously, cheddar is probably a bit bland for the festive period. You want to go and find some miniature breeze. Delicious. My favourite cheese in the world. Okay, next up, we're going to go down the, the snacky plate idea. Now... Everybody should have a packet of these for snacking on, carrot batons. Always make sure that you get the ones with the longest use-by date because they tend to go a little bit scungy quite quickly, I always find. Um, those bad boys are nothing. 43, yeah, for 100 grams, 43 calories for 100 grams. That, there's six portions in this there. So that's nothing, but also you want to combine it with other crunchy bits like your celery sticks and your red pepper and whatnot. <coughs> but there is no harm in having a snacky plate with some nice meats. You get your protein, um, you know, you get your spare tur leftover turkey. <coughs> Excuse me. So lots of nice, um, even charcuterie is, is going to be quite nice. Um, however, you want to have something to dip in, don't you? Now, I have got the world's greatest hack for dips but you don't have to believe me here but i'm going to just explain my world's greatest hack for dips so what you want to do everybody loves crisp and dip yeah and everybody loves veggie sticks and dip however if you get i've lost my other thing if you get a tub of <coughs> sour cream and onion dip from tesco it's 380 calories right and you know what? it's not just the fresh one, it's not that big. 381 calories, okay. So if you don't want to eat 381 calories a dip and you don't want to just give it a wee uh, film, it needs like to be ah oh, no, no, no. This is the world's greatest hack. Now you if you do this, I want you to tag me in this because it's delicious, right? Do you want to get one of these? Or you want to get some out of a big tub? But this is I didn't have any left because I've already eaten mine this month, this week. 170 grams of uh, fat-free Greek strange yogurt. Okay, put it in a bowl. Then you want to add a teaspoon, maybe even a tablespoon-ish of this. A tablespoon, like a ten, not a not a measuring tablespoon size, but your like dessert spoon size is roughly going to be about 30 calories. Okay. Then you want to, you've got the, the choice is yours. You have limited, limitless opportunities here. So I use this. I put this in mine. Now this is just a homemade mix and it's got garlic, garlic granules, onion, gar, onion granules, uh, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, salt and pepper, I think. Can't remember, I made it ages ago. So I put some of that in it. However, you don't need to do that because that's going to take you some time and energy and effort to go and buy that stuff. See if you can just get some garlic granules and or some onion garlic gar uh, granules. Put maybe you want to do it. You want to start small and add taste as you go. You can also add some fresh chives. Now chives are the only thing that are surviving the winter in my herb garden. Um, mainly because the lower two ones, and it's a kind of a ladder thing. And I had mint, chive, something else, something else, something else. The bottom two are ruined because the dog kept pissing up against it. So, lesson learned: don't eat the don't eat the bottom herbs. So yeah, add some chives, add some garlic salt or onion granules, and season it to taste. And oh my god, you will not know the difference. Genuinely, you won't know the difference. And it's so quick and it's so easy, and it's so perfect for dipping these bad boys in. While you're drinking these bad boys um, as an appetizer before you have your crackers and your cheese. You see? Easy peasy. So there is, there's really, you know, there's so much that you can, I could do, do this for hours. Like genuinely, I could come into your kitchen and sit and do, oh, this is what we should do with snacks. I've got years of experience with snacks. The other thing that's really quite 
good to know about selection boxes. Now, <coughs> typically in a selection box, you don't have a full size bar of chocolate, but where you have selection boxes, da -da -da -da, cut them in half. Don't do this before you're going to, don't do that, oh, I fancy a crunch it, and then go and cut it in half, because you'll be like that. Oh, I feel disappointed. Cut them all in half and put them in the fridge in a, a tub or something so that everything is in half so you can go in and just grab a half. And then you're you're half in the calories and you're still getting the amazing taste of a crunchy or a swirl or a picnic. Right, there's Dawn Sutton there. She is going to love this, but I don't have any here. Skinny Whip Bars from Home Bargains normally, I think, or B&M. Uh, 99 calories, very chocolatey. But if you are only up for the proper chocolate, I don't like a picnic. You don't like the proper chocolate, cut everything in half, put it in a tub in the fridge and then it's easy to go into and take. The final hack, um, this is an odd one because I don't tend to have, I never really go, oh I really fancy ice cream, but I know people that like, oh my god, go nuts for ice cream. So something like this, there are other things available. This is a, a Scottish one, uh, Graham's, and it's 320 calories for the entire tub of salted caramel ice cream. Which, quite frankly, is, oh my god, amazing, isn't it? Right, so let's see what the protein is. So per 100 mils, the protein's only 4.5, so it's not a huge amount of protein. It says high in protein, it's actually a big fat lie, it's not high in protein at all. But that's a huge pack instead of a big tub of Ben & Jerry's, which is going to be probably about 700 calories. Not like if you're gonna take this, you're just gonna take this. Uh, Sarah Berloth, what is a skinny whip? Sarah, you need to go to BM. <coughs> skinny whip bars are they're kinda they're just marketed as a lower calorie chocolate bar. You get different flavours. They've kinda got nougat nougat spongy stuff in the middle. They're they're quite nice. Don Don Sutton is slightly obsessed or was slightly obsessed by them. Um I'm sure she'll be on to give you a list of our favourites. Um, so there are your key hacks. I'm trying to think what else we've got. Does anybody have any questions actually while I'm talking or thinking up new things to say? Kind of like a Milky Way, kind of like a Milky Way actually, but marketed differently and therefore more expensive. Um, so if you've got any snacks that you love but you want a hack for, put yourself Put a wee question below and I'll get to it. Um, yes, Karen Hedge, that's a really good one. So for every birthday, Christmas and Mother's Day, I always put a special request in for the Green and Blacks minis. Um, and they're delicious. And I have a wee tote bag that I hang up in our cupboard under the stairs, which is kind of a cross between our alcohol cupboard, supermarket shop bags cupboard, snack cupboard and toilet roll cupboard. And I put it in there and I have a wee kind of, oh, what's my wee surprise today for my green and black? So yeah, I'm agree agreement with that. They're delicious. Um, so yeah, if you have anyone, any snacks that you want me to hack, pop them down below. <coughs> I wanted to share with you something else as well. You may have seen yesterday, I put up a post about our anti-diet 90 day method, which is tremendous. And over this week, okay, we've only got tonight, Thursday and Friday and next week. But as you can hear, I have got a cold and I have got a cough, which normally does heavily impact my energy levels. And I'm, I'm quite, ugh, I'll be honest. Um, but it does mean that it does impact my ability to do consultations. So I am not going to be doing any more consultations this, before, this side of Christmas. So what I am going to be doing, though, is I have put a lot of information about our anti-diet method, um, how to rebalance your hormones. So if you are wanting to put your name down for an early bird offer for next year, then put down early bird, that's a good one, early bird in the comments below, and I will send you a PDF with everything that you need to know. Now, the PDF is going to take you through a little bit more about our method methodology, and it'll give you an idea whether it's right for you or not. Um, so if you do... I can't even remember what I asked you to put down, PDF, anti-diet, something. You know, put something, something appropriate, relevant. And it means that we'll be able to have a messenger conversation rather than having a telephone consultation. Because um, I know everybody's, but the other thing is like, everybody's busy. Um, and normally the consultations last 
just under an hour and I know nobody doesn't have the time but I also do know that people are wanting to get ahead of the curve and have something ready to go for them either after Christmas or after New Year so if that is you and you want to be part of that early bird opportunity then you need to put your name down now because I'll be closing the early bird opportunities Wednesday of well it'll be Tuesday of next week okay <coughs> excuse me excuse me um so yeah Sarah's been buying kids snack packs of things under 100 calories yet yeah, I'm do I buy Freddo's normally outside of Christmas I normally have a Freddo a day I usually have it in the evening before I go to bed as my supper and a wee protein shake do, 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 do. I'm just going through to make sure there's no questions so I can't see any questions Walker sensations which flavour do you, which flavour um Hot and spicy. Monster Munch, we just, I know I'm coughing a lot just now, but Monster Munch just make, make you go crunch, crunch, <coughs> crunch, crunch. <coughs> um, right, okay. Breadsticks, that's a good idea. I was actually going to buy breadsticks, um, but I was running around, I was running around trying to get everything in my basket and I was doing the wee scanning shop thing, which I absolutely love. I'm a fan of the automations. Ah, oh, I love a fudge. Yeah, we fudge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, there are some good hacks for you. Um, remember though that Christmas is for enjoying yourself. For some people, enjoying themselves doesn't necessarily have to be eating till you're so full that you feel sick. Okay, so some tricks, some hacks to check in with yourself is, am I really enjoying this? Am I tasting this? Is this making me feel good? And if the answer is no, put it down and walk away. Okay. Put it down, walk away. Um, the other thing is try and, while you're off work, you know, a lot of people don't do this because they're running about mental busy. Try the checking in, am I hungry? And am I emotionally hungry versus am I physically hungry versus am I actually thirsty? Um, so physical hunger can be identified from, you know, it's built up quite slowly and there's an appropriate time from when you last ate and you're maybe a little bit grumpy or you're flagging a little bit. That tends to be a physical hunger. Emotional hunger is where it comes on quite suddenly and you're like, I must eat something, I need something, I need something, I need something. For a lot of people, it can come after a time of stress or it can be overtiredness. Now, a if you can't differentiate, always ask yourself, can I eat an apple just now? And if the answer is don't really want an apple, it's like most likely emotional hunger rather than physical hunger. The answer is, yeah, I could devour an apple. Chances are it's a good, um, it's a good physical hunger. Um, if it's thirst, have a glass of water and see what happens. A lot of people do mistake thirst and hunger. Um, okay, a camembert hat. Okay. Just make the fucking camembert, Sarah. Like, seriously, it's Christmas. Don't eat a camembert wheel every single day of the week. But if it's a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day quite tradition, just have camembert. You know, it's fine. I'm going to be having brie. I'm going to be probably not having, we don't tend to have camembert on a cheese board. But I'm going to have brie and blue cheese and crackers and chutneys and stuff. So you don't have to have the whole one now, though, Sarah, do you? You don't have to. What you could do is you could cut it in half and bake half and then do the other half another time and really taste it and enjoy it. Does that help? <coughs> okay, I always have a cheese board. I know you do. I love a cheese board, don't we? Eddie tries to eat the cheese board. For those of you who don't know, Eddie is my dog and is remarkably quiet. Oh, he's sitting. He's sitting. I don't know if you can see him. Now you won't be able to see him. He's sitting through in his chair. A messy dining room. Um, okay, okay, right, my lovelies. I am away. I've got a phone call just now. Um, and I hope you all have a tremendous week. I will be doing lives. Like, I'm not going to be vanishing off the face of the earth now. So if you do have any questions or anything that you need hacked, let us know. And um, as I say, if you are wanting to jump ahead of the crowd for... The early bird offers, which means the early bird offers are going to be 
less investment than the actual offers when we go live in January, then you need to let me know ASAP so I can send you that PDF and you can make an informed decision about how you want to proceed with working with us for the first three months of the year. Or you get started now. We've got ladies starting this week, which is tremendous. I love it. This year's been really good. Everybody, a lot of people have said, no, I know you're going to let me have a normal Christmas, but I, I want to know that I've got a plan of attack and that's Makes me very happy. So yes, have an amazing night, couple of days, and oh, 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 oh before I forget, Clara and I are doing a final of last of the year 2020, 2021 Ask Us Anything, two o'clock on Friday. It will be carnage. We're going to ask each other ridiculous questions. If you want any ridiculous questions asked, let us know, and um, we'll see you at two o'clock on Friday. All right, have an awesome evening. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.